Hello everyone, welcome to the Honest Review. Today I'll be talking about this generic electric water pump that is USB charged and battery powered, internal battery powered. And this pump is designed for a five gallon jug like this one right here. And essentially it has just a hose that is the appropriate length so that it hits the bottom corner of the jug. In here you can connect it to uh, the bottom of this plastic faucet area. And then this just sits right on here. Now, one criticism I do have about this pump to just to get that out of the way is it doesn't really have like a locking mechanism and it really only works on certain tops. So this top here um, is a new one because we had to go to a water filling place and this actually fits really well on here and doesn't move around. You, you really kind of have to yank it to move it around or if you press it on there, it's it's steady on there. You can hit against it and it's not coming off even if it bends a little bit. But the previous um, get, uh, jug top that we had on here wasn't as thick as this one or something, but you put this on here and it was kind of a little floppy and you could actually like hit the top of it and it would fall off just kind of like that. Um, so I think that's really just like a design flaw in the way that this is attached. I think that um, I even had a different one before that was a different model, but I didn't end up reviewing that one, even though I probably should because it just died like really quickly. Um, this model, I've seen a couple of van dwellers have this one. And so I was, you know, had a inkling that it was gonna be a little better than the other one I had. And it is, it, it's really, first off, very, very cheap. We've only been using it for a couple weeks now, but no issues so far. And I've seen people have these in their vans for uh, around a year, I think at the, at the latest. And it's supposedly takes four watts of electricity to run it. And it has an internal lithium battery, uh, which its voltage is 3.7 volts but uh, the input charge is five volts, uh, one amp, and that's through a micro USB port at the back, which is how you charge it. And then, you know, it uses the internal lithium battery to actually power it. There's two functions at the top, a power button, which turns it on and off, and a 600 mil button, which turns it on and pumps out 600 milliliters, but you can also hit that again and it'll shut it off uh, even mid pour. So it's not destined to pour 600 milliliters. You can turn that on and off still. The little faucet part comes out. It's all the same sort of structure until this bottom part, which is a reflective plastic or shiny silver plastic. And I think it looks a lot better than the other ones that are out on the market. It looks kind of just, it looks like nicer. It doesn't look necessarily like very fancy or very expensive still but it looks nicer than um the previous one i had which was like white plastic and like a metal straw part that came out as a faucet so this goes right on here and works pretty good so here we go testing this out just had a bit of air in there Flow rate is pretty slow. Um, there's those hand pumps that you can just really reef on and you, you can pump out tons of water way quicker than this a little electric one. So you're kind of just sitting there waiting for your water to be filled. But I would say it's about as fast as like an undermount faucet sink uh, filter setup with, with those tiny little uh, faucets that come up for drinking water. It's probably around the same speed as that. However, you have to listen to the pump pump because the, all the pumping is happening right here and it's noisy and it, it's cheaply built and it's just a pump, you know, so it, you can hear the noise and it's very loud. Um, so you're just sitting there waiting for your water to be filled up and listening to a very loud pump, which isn't an enjoyable experience. However, I think it's nicer than having to pump uh, by hand and then also those hand pump ones are much bigger and worse looking and I just wanted to have something nice and simple 
and it is it does work well and functions well enough for the situation that we have here. Um, I have seen people use these actually as their sink faucets for a, a sort of a very, very simple DIY uh, cheap option. And I think that's a decent idea because it does have the on off switch. Um, whereas other people I've seen have sort of like a hand pump, uh, like a marine style faucet. And that would be incredibly annoying to have as your sink in your van because you're trying to do dishes with one hand and that's just ridiculous. At least this, you can turn it on, do some dishes, turn it off. You have that on off uh, button. You don't have varying degrees of pressure, but at least you have an on off button for that application. For this application for drinking water, it does the job, like I said. So I've recharged it once, um, and that's after pumping about, I would say eight gallons. And I didn't actually charge it right off the off the bat. So that's coming out of the box. Um, and then it sort of died and I just charged it for a few hours and it's working again. And, and I haven't really given it a full charge, full depletion cycle to see how long in between charges, but I think it works pretty good and it's easy enough to just plug this in and charge it for a little bit. Um, you know, you could even plug it into like a battery pack if you needed to. So that's really my review. Uh, I think it's a decent little product. Very, very decent for how cheap it is. Uh, there are other options out of there. I didn't even bother saying what company this came from because this is just a generic product and I'm just gonna link another one of the exact same model. If you, if you find one that looks like this, it will be this exact same design. It's not gonna be uh, worse or better than this. It's going to be this, uh, no matter the price that you find it at. So I will link one in the description below if you are interested in purchasing. And I hope that this review was helpful. If you have any questions, comment them below, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on a next Honest Review.